Good morning, eighth grade. It's Tuesday, March 9th. Make sure you've got your math notebook and a writing utensil, and let's begin in prayer. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and kindle them in the fire of your love. Send forth your spirit, and they shall be created, and you shall renew the face of the earth. O God, who by the light of the Holy Spirit did instruct the hearts of the faithful, Grant that by the same Holy Spirit, we may be truly wise and ever enjoy his consolations. Through Christ our Lord, amen. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, amen. Okay, just one warm-up problem today. So go ahead and pause the video, please. Solve that problem, and then you can come back and check your answer with mine. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and solve this problem um, using the distributive property, and I'm going to show you a little trick when I'm doing this. Um, let's go ahead and go ahead and multiply this out. So 5x squared times 3x squared gives me 15x to the fourth. And then I've got 5x squared times a negative 2x is minus 10x to the third. And 5x squared times 7 is plus 35, whoops, not 3, 35x squared. Okay, so that was the first one. Now I'm going to do the second set. And I've got 3x times 3x squared gives me 9x to the third. I'm going to actually move down a line on my paper. If I was on a piece of lined paper, and I'm going to actually line up 9x to the third right underneath my 10x to the third. It's going to make it easier for me to add these when I'm combining like terms. I'm basically lining up my like terms as I write out the problem. Okay. And then I'll do 3x times negative 2x, which gives me minus 6x squared. I'm going to line that up underneath that 35x squared. Okay. And then I've got 3x times 7 is 21x. And I'm just going to add that on here, 21x. Okay. Because there's nothing above it. I don't have any, any plain x terms right there. Okay. And now I'll do the next one. Now I'm going to do 2 times 3x squared gives me 6x squared. And notice I'm lining that up under the x squared terms. Minus 4x, I'll line that up under the x terms, plus 14. And I'm going to add everything up. And see, I have everything lined up. It's kind of similar to when I was doing the boxes, but without the boxes, OK? So I have 15x to the fourth. And then minus 10x to the third plus 9x to the third gives me minus 1x to the third. And then 35x squared minus 6x squared plus 6x squared. Those are just going to cancel, so I'm left with 35x squared. 21 minus 4 is 17x plus 14. And that's my answer. Okay. So you may have solved it that way. You may have used the um, area models. You might have written it out in one big long string and combined like terms. That's fine too. Just wanted to show you another way to, to multiply these that um, might make things easier, okay? If you're having any trouble with that problem, make sure and reach out to your tutor. Um, see if you can figure out where you went wrong. Um, again, really important problem. Okay, let's talk about today's lesson. So today we're just doing more of what we did yesterday. I've got a couple of um, example problems that look a little bit different, but in general we follow the same procedures that we did yesterday. So we'll solve those examples and then I'll get you turned loose on your homework for tonight. Okay, so I have just three example problems that I'm going to show you today. Um, these are very similar to problems you're going to see on your homework assignment tonight. So it'd be a good idea to take some good notes um, write out all these problems and then you've got some examples to go back and look at when you're doing your homework. So this first one is a trinomial that is being squared. I'm raising that trinomial to the second power. And remember, when we raise something to the second power, it means we're multiplying it times itself. So this is equal to 3x squared plus 2x minus 5 times 3x squared plus 2x minus 5. So I'm multiplying that polynomial times itself. 
And now we just follow the rules that we learned yesterday. We're going to either use the area models or use the distributive property. I'm going to do this one with the distributive property. So 3x squared times 3x squared is 9x to the fourth plus 6x to the third minus 15x squared. Okay, got the first one done. And now I'm going to do the next one. And I'm going to line these up vertically again like I did in the warm up. So I've got uh, this will be 6x to the third plus 6x to the third plus 4x squared minus 10x. Okay, and then now I need to do the last one. And so then I've got minus 15x squared minus 10x plus 25. Okay, and then we'll add everything up. So 9x to the fourth plus 12x to the third. And then notice with this third one, let's see here, I've got minus 30 plus 4 gives me minus 26x squared minus 20x plus 25. And that's my answer, okay? Hopefully I didn't make any mistakes there. When I'm in the classroom, students can always correct me and say, Mrs. Roddinghouse, you added that wrong. And I'm sorry, I don't have you guys standing there in front of me correcting me. So hopefully I didn't make any mistakes there. Okay. All right, let's do one more or two more, sorry. Okay, let's do this one. Let's do 2x plus 1 times x minus 2 times x plus 3. Okay, so this one I've got three binomials being multiplied together. And this is similar to that one we did yesterday, where we need to pick two of them to multiply them together first. And then when we get the trinomial, then we'll multiply the third one. So I'm going to just multiply those two together first. And I'm going to use FOIL. So this becomes 2x squared minus 4x plus 1x minus 2, or 2x squared minus 3x minus 2. And I have to multiply that times x plus 3. OK? So let's do area models on this one. You can do it either way. So I've got x plus 3, 2x squared minus 3x minus 2. So 2x to the third, 6x squared, minus 3x squared, minus 9x, minus 2x, minus 6. And when I add it all up, I get 2x to the third. And then I've got 6x squared minus 3x squared is 3x squared. Minus 9x minus 2x is minus 11x. And then minus 6. And that's my answer. OK, so when you have three binomials, you just have to multiply two of them together, get your trinomial, and then multiply it times the third one. OK, all right, let's do one more. Let's do x plus 4 times 2x plus 1 quantity squared. OK, now remember, if I'm erasing a binomial to a power, it's that binomial times itself. So I'm going to write that out. So I have x plus 4 times 2x plus 1 times 2x plus 1. Now, you can multiply these in any order. If you want to go ahead and multiply these two together first and then multiply times this, that's fine. Or if you want to multiply the x plus 4 times one of the 2x plus 1s first, you can do that. It doesn't matter. If you've memorized the rule for a perfect square, because that's what this is, this is a perfect square, and you want to just do that, it's fine. You can do it either way. OK, I'm going to multiply the perfect square together first. I'm going to do that one first this time. So this becomes 4x squared plus 2x plus 2x, which is 4x plus 1, OK? 
And I did that with FOIL, but I multiply, I did those two middle terms in my head. Okay, so I had 4x squared plus 2x plus 2x gave me 4x plus 1. I'm going fast on this one because I want you to start to think about how you can do some of the math in your head. If you're not ready to do that yet, write out every step. That's okay. All right. I'd rather you write out every step and get it right. Okay. Before you start doing some of the shortcutting in your head. Okay. All right. And then we've got our x plus four. And now let's multiply those two together. I like the area models. Let's do that one. So I have x plus 4, 4x squared, 4x, 1. So this is 4x to the third, 16x squared, 4x squared, 16x, x, and 4. Everything was plus. So 4x to the third plus 20x squared. OK, that's that. And then those two. And then I've got 17x plus 4. And I'm done. OK. OK, so again, it, this was very similar to what we did yesterday. We just had a couple little, um, little extra tricks we had to do sometimes when we had to multiply some. Um, we had some things raised to powers, things like that. But it's basically the same as what we did yesterday. Your homework assignment is six problems tonight. Um, so it's a worksheet. Just do all six problems. Again, think about how you feel about today's lesson. Be sure and check in with your tutor if you're still struggling with um, bin or polynomial multiplication. You can certainly reach out to me as well, and I will help you. Um, tomorrow, we're going to move on to division. And so um, things will be, we'll be changing things up a little bit. So make sure you watch tomorrow's video. Um, and I'll see you then. Okay. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.